All right, Halos, what's up? How's everyone doing? We are joined by Drewbert for our first uh, MSI video. We were planning on doing it um, a little bit earlier, but uh, we just didn't quite weren't quite able to do that. Plus, all the games were like constant, like every day, so that was that was kind of cool. But um, yeah, we just didn't didn't have time. But what's up, Drew? How you doing? Not much. Yeah, feeling pretty good. Um, nice. All caught up on all the games, so nice, yep. nice, nice. Ready to go. Yeah, I, I caught all the North America games and. I like two times speed through most of the other ones, but uh, yeah, let's jump into it. Uh, so the upper bracket or the upper round or left side of the bracket or whatever you want to call it. Uh, first up, we had FlyQuest versus PSG. Talon, um, obviously they went two and one. What were your thoughts on um, on this series and like the drafts as well, if you remember that? Um, yeah, so I my thoughts were I was super... Um worried for FlyQuest after the first game um yeah because yeah. if i remember that first game that we just kind of like we played really like really odd like uh we we basically I, I like if i remember that first game right we essentially the play style we did was opposite of like what we drafted so it was just like it didn't make sense and we we kind of lost pretty bad because of it but um yeah it was looking pretty rough but but uh, I would say we bounced back really nicely. So I actually felt pretty good after this series. Because, um, yeah. yeah, I don't know. Games 2 and 3 went pretty smooth, in my opinion. We, we kind of bounced back. And definitely. Uh, it, it looked like, honestly, it looked like the coach was probably like, yo, we like just play to the win conditions. And then they did it. Um, <laughs> yeah. I don't remember what else was stood out to me. Uh, Blippo. Blippo was pretty wide that game. Not going to lie. Um, <laughs> Game two and three, especially, he uh, he kind of popped off on uh, God, what did he, he played? Was it Ergot and Olaf? I think. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um. So he kind of popped off. So that that was uh, that was all super encouraging. Um, just a little hookup game one, but no yeah, no sure. no no calls for alarm. Definitely. I was kind of worried for uh, FlyQuest because it seemed like they're on a little bit of a downward trend after being like super good the entire split pretty much um near the end of playoffs of of lcs of course but um i was like you know they're pretty good i think i think that they play well enough they can they can make some damage here so uh yeah, yeah. they um the first game like you said didn't look super great psg the talent looking really good and uh playing really well um and they still fought back in the second and third games but i think FlyQuest just overall were just slightly better kind of like i know a lot of people were saying this is going to be a really close one and it, it really was pretty much but um fly quest i think should have won so i'm yeah. glad to see this what happened <laughs> but um it was definitely a little bit harder than i would have expected and i was really hoping to see fly quest be a little bit more dominant honestly yeah yeah agree but I was glad they were able to make it on. And I was like, okay, well, I'm assuming T1's going to to move on from that lower bracket stage at that point. So I was like, that's going to be an interesting match. I wonder if we can take a, a game or two. We'll just have to see, I guess. Um, but yeah, uh, moving on to that one. We have T1 versus Estral Esports. Uh, I actually... Was, uh, this is a banger. Oh, you remember this one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it was... Uh... <laughs> Isn't this uh, Estral Esports? Don't they have Jose Diodo? I think or is that is that loud? Which one has? I think that's loud. It might I think be. it's loud. But Estral was like crazy good. Yeah. Um, I wonder if I click on does it show the players or anything? Yeah, it does. Nice. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, Jose Dio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, what the heck? Yeah. Okay, nice. The the boy. <laughs> Damn, I, I didn't even realize. All right, well, anyways. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, these guys were, they did a lot of work, and honestly, I was, um, they kind of looked like they were gonna, I don't know about win, but they're gonna take at least one game off, you know? Um, they're looking really good, and they, they freaking smashed, so, this is the one, uh, series that I actually watched the closest besides the NA games, so, um, this one, this one was really good, uh, but T1, fun. yeah, it was fun, yeah, T1 ended up being stronger overall, um, just like i don't know how they do it they're just like they kind of look maybe a little bit weak even or like really even roughly but slight advantages in, in gold maybe on all lanes and then later on in the game like a couple of different fights and then it's just over but um Some i've i've noticed even from like even worlds last year t1 seems like they because remember liquid almost beat t1 yeah and, exactly uh, yeah so i feel like they always start out a little shaky but the longer it goes like the more they 
they figure out the meta. So yeah, that's um, fair. But they always look like you know, I, I like I think early on they're always like possibly beatable. But yeah, the Astral yeah. couldn't couldn't pull it off. But they, I agree. They, they definitely tried. Yeah, they put up a super good fight. I thought they were like the most my the team that impressed me the most out of the play-ins. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But yeah, I mean, I guess that's not completely fair since I didn't really watch all the games like super closely. But either way, I liked them a lot. But uh, T1 ended up 2-0ing them, uh, even though it was a hard 2-0. <laughs> yeah. um, hard fought, at least. Uh, so that means T1 versus FlyQuest in that next matchup. Um, so T1 ends up 2-0ing them, uh, looking pretty handily. I was kind of, it was kind of rough seeing FlyQuest kind of just fall really kind of easily um they yeah. didn't really have a ton of cohesion and we're like not making a ton of like super proactive no they did make some proactive plays in the early game but i don't know it just didn't amount to enough kind of it was kind of like i remember one of the casters were saying um kind of how about zayas where he like he like maybe will die a few times or get a bunch of like ganks toward him but all he has to get is that one kill and then yep. he's just it's just oh, game over pretty much so it's like that's kind of how i feel about them a little bit about T1. Yeah, so. this one uh, I assume FlyQuest would lose, but yeah, um, I don't know. It was pretty, it was pretty rough. The um, one of the two games that was over in like I think it was like 16 minutes, maybe 17 minutes. Yeah. Um, and and it was like T1 was playing like a Senna, like a Senna comp. Yeah, the first game. Yep, yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was like, hmm, like. This is not good. To, like, how do we lose to Senna Comp in like under twenty minutes? That's 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 a little concerning. Um, uh, yeah, like I didn't, like I said, I didn't think Flacco had really a chance to win this series, but it it, it was pretty. Yeah, still, sure. you would have hoped that they would at least get one game off. Yeah, like I thought Astral looked more competitive against yeah. one than Flyquest, which that that was like sad to see. Yeah, for sure, absolutely. All right. Uh, that means FlyQuest goes down to this lower bracket um, after that first, that second round plays, and then T1 advances into the uh, group stage, right? So that really calling it. Yep. Yep. They make it to like the uh, or to the bracket stage. Yeah, bracket yeah. stage. Yep. There you go. Yep. All right. Uh, and so yeah, uh, PSG Talon end up falling, um, of course, to FlyQuest and Estral as well. So um, they both are going to be down in that round two so they end up facing each other uh i didn't really watch this these this series too much um do you remember a whole lot of this um i saw no i i, I caught the highlights of this one it was honestly it just looked like it, like a straw didn't look nearly as good as they had against t1 um so it looks like it, like it looks like they kind of just like revert it back to oh, maybe okay. the level people. Like it looked like they played like up to like a higher level when they played T1. But PSG was, I mean, they've got some veteran players for sure. Like I don't know, like you saw, they have Maple and uh, so they got people who have been in international stuff before. So they they it wasn't like anything crazy. But I think PSG was probably favored to win this, and they yeah they they just took care of it too yeah they ended up powering up pretty well um like we, we said earlier they they played pretty well against fly quest so they're they're yeah. definitely powering up a little bit for sure and uh that means they move on of course unfortunately estrel esports um ends up falling out i thought for a few times because the casters were talking so fast sometimes i thought it was astralis but uh yeah. it's definitely yeah. astral so yeah. uh i think that's how you pronounce it at least but yeah it's good um sayonara to them unfortunately but they they showed really well so good for them um and then FlyQuest end up facing psg talon as a rematch um i was kind of confused by this one for a second on the vase because i was like wait a second didn't didn't we oh, watch yeah. this yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh but psg actually i wish just... it was a repeat of the first one no, yeah me too me yeah. too uh psg powered up really big and uh they just learned from the first series really well it looks like um and yeah i don't know they just they played a lot better they had a lot of really good plays and a bunch of like important things like the uh uh maple on his ear was was pretty nice was big. yeah, yeah. He, he's good on that champ and and i i thought that it was so weird because it looked like um how do i describe it, it looked like FlyQuest was a lot more um maybe because it was the elimination game but they yeah. looked a lot more nervous and they were definitely like like forcing a lot more 
yeah and i felt like they they had to like they would they would make like a good play but then they would like over stay or like try and make it into like a like a tremendous play and it would end up like backfiring a lot of times so um some people said that they thought they got like like mentally broken after the t1 series but i don't i don't really believe that because i don't i don't think they thought they were going to win that one but um probably not i, don't know. I think they were just yeah. i think they were just nervous i don't know they just weren't they didn't play the same way they played the first time they played psg so that was like kind of sad to see yeah for sure um it was i do kind of agree a little bit to that point what you were saying that some people would say because uh, i do think uh every like even at the like the lcs finals they were i felt like they were like pretty down about especially Bupo, I, I would say um, yeah, maybe inspired yeah. too. It just doesn't show it as much. Maybe, but Bupa was very like outward, showing his emotions a lot. Um, I think, and so it was it was pretty rough, especially after this last series against PSG Talon. Uh, it looked like he was just like rethinking his life for a second there, you know. Uh, and it, it's definitely like hard for sure because he's he made it to the World Finals, right? So he's like he has a high expectations and high hopes for sure. So. Um, yeah, it was definitely rough. I think I think they're gonna be. I hope it doesn't happen, but I I think there might be some some trust issues that may arise between because of this. The, the one uh, I don't know if you agree with this uh, point, but the one um, thing that I thought was kind of encouraging was I thought Masu played. He didn't play like incredible, but I, for like a rookie, I thought he played better than i thought he would play if that makes sense that's fair i thought um, he played really good but i kept noticing him saying well pretty good but i kept noticing him say him like staying back yeah. maybe it was because he was zoned but it looked like he was just being a little yeah. bit timid in a lot of team fights just so. in every game yeah um, i think is, so too but i think it's fair yeah. but um yeah yeah it's unfortunate for i sure. think like, i think like he's definitely i hope they continue to kind of build around him and like figure out how to because i think i think for a first split he did he did pretty well so that was like i wasn't too down on on masu yeah yeah for sure i think they did pretty good especially for his first tournament yeah yeah so yeah uh flyquest ends up falling unfortunately not making it to the bracket stage which is sad to see but it is what it is psg talent advancing so it's going to be t1 and psg going to be in the bracket stage now with all the first seeds and then we can go down to the lower or the other side of the bracket at least and we've got Fnatic versus Gam Esports. Uh, I didn't watch a ton of of this bra- side of the bracket, unfortunately. Sorry to say, I just didn't have the time. But um, I um, I think it's important to note. Um, I don't know how close you follow, but there was that big uh, like match fixing scandal in VCS. I don't know if you saw the news. A little bit, yeah. Um, so actually a lot it was like it it was for all the teams so gam was playing with i think two last minute like substitute players oh for this wow yeah for this because because they like banned two of their main players who were part of the match fixing so um they they had like two i think they had three like leave obviously is standard but i think they had two just kind of like fill players which was a little unfortunate Wow, that's crazy. I didn't um, know about that actually. That's yeah. So, but like, so that being said, like, Fnatic definitely took care of them. Uh, yeah. Without too much difficulty. I mean, this side, this bracket was pretty one sided in the first round. Like, Fnatic didn't have any trouble with Gam, and Top didn't really have any trouble with uh, with Loud. They definitely. they both kind of just cruised from yeah. the games. Yeah. So yeah, Fnatic two O Gam, and then Top Esports of course two O Loud. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know how you feel about Top Esports, um, but I feel like they are just kind of, you know, just a good LVL team overall. So yep. it's pretty, yeah, they're, pretty um... standard that they would just kind of run the house. Yeah, they've got 369, <laughs> they've got Jackie, Love. So they've got, like, good good players. Um, yeah, for sure. So, so I was pretty sure they would they would take care of Loud without too much trouble. I can't remember the, the series I was watching, but... Um... Oh no no no! I do remember now. Actually, it was the it was the later series, but yeah, uh, there yeah, Type B is looking really good. Jackie's looking pretty pretty nice, actually. I think. So, yeah, yeah, for uh, sure. Yeah, so Type B Sports. Oh, go ahead. Oh no, I was gonna say I will say um, 
unfortunate you didn't see if you didn't watch too much of this side of the bracket though these like round two matchups were actually the Bangers. most um uh, fun of yeah. the whole play and it's like the the top esports versus fanatic and then the gam versus loud ended up being the two i think best uh okay playing series sounds good yeah, yeah i might just go rewatch them if i get some time so sounds good cool but uh yeah top esports 2-1 fanatic looks like so a little bit closer did you see if like fanatic was pushing, putting up like a huge fight there or they were yeah yeah no this this series was actually really really close okay nice um, so. i think i think like top esports blew him out in like one of the games right. um fanatic like edged him out in the one and then like the the one game was like pretty pretty close so so the series was pretty okay. back and forth it wasn't like a, a blowout yeah all right sweet so it looks like fanatic looking maybe better than what people were expecting then so that's good yeah um all right and then loud end up falling to gam esports um gam one two ones them so it looks like a relatively close series there as well like you said probably bangers it, it, uh, yeah it, it, there was a point where like i'm trying to remember the sequence but essentially like loud was pushing to like destroy the nexus oh, and okay. it looked like they were just going to destroy it and then like gam <laughs> Like Miracle saved it and ended up winning the game. So like, yeah, Loud Loud was like very close to to just winning the series, and then Gam kind of wow. saved it and then won the next game and won the series. So it was a is a pretty hype uh, match as well. Nice, good to hear. Yeah, yeah, awesome. All right, and that means uh, Loud unfortunately gets knocked out there, and then Gam moves on to face Fnatic in the round three, and Fnatic looks like they two owed gam um this yeah, is the team yeah. you were saying that had the subs as well um yep. so i think this one wasn't close this was kind of a stop okay <laughs> unfortunate but uh yeah obviously it was it was pretty good plans honestly overall um yeah kind of what do you think about like the more condensed format just like having everything day after day I, after day i i um, like it because it kind of keeps the um kind of keeps hype the going. hype going yeah so i don't i don't mind it i actually saw an interesting um thought where the, like some people were saying they should just seed like the LCK and the LPL seed into the brackets like not have so they like not have T1 and um top like in play-ins and instead like add two more um like minor region teams in yeah okay uh, I just to make I play-ins agree, like more yeah. competitive cuz they cuz basically people were saying like like those two regions to stomp everybody so might as well just like give the space to other people to make it kind of more yeah. more competitive that's but... pretty fair i kind of like it but i think at the same time it would be nice to get like some practice against them early or yeah um stuff like that I don't also know. like I imagine if if an upset happens like it's it's also pretty hype so yeah. you kind of remove that possibility if you don't have them in there so i get or it like yeah, yeah or like if loud or like gamma or whatever ends up facing like t1 or something they're like wow they, we get to face Vaker or something yeah. but like they yeah, might yeah, not be sure. able to do that so i don't know yeah definitely i i do agree that i think they probably should just go straight through but i don't know there's there's good points to both sides i suppose yeah but either way uh the actual format of like the best of threes and stuff straight through i think it was worked really well um i almost even went best of fives for some of it like maybe for the round two uh upper and maybe the round three lower but i don't know yeah normally normally when uh normally when you run this like these are called like uh, gsl groups you normally mm. a lot of times i've seen people do best of fives for the um elimination games yeah that makes sense like like or like the promotion game so exactly what you said like the upper final like to promote into the bracket like yeah. that's a best of five and then like the the elimination that like final elimination game is is also best of five but yeah yeah for sure uh but yeah overall pretty good plans uh we're gonna have the um the next stuff up do you want to do because the first uh playoffs went on today do you want to grab that real quick or wait till they're all done uh yeah that's we might as well <laughs> okay uh might so, as well. yeah tl versus uh top esports was the 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 seeding i think and yep. <laughs> uh unfortunately for us uh in na uh top did end up three owing team liquid um yeah what do you think about this series <laughs> oh boy it was it was a little rough um it was a little rough mm -hmm. uh I mean, I'm trying not to be too down because, um, like we said, Top has 
some really good players. Like for sure. Jackie Love popped off. Three six nine oh, yeah. was really popping off, and it's like you kind of expect that because they're that level of talent. So, in a sense, like it's it's not surprising, but um, mm. I don't know, it just it didn't even look. Uh, I think I think what was most most like disappointing to me was. Like I had just seen Fnatic, um, like put up a really good fight against Top, mm-hmm. and then to see like it didn't look, like TL didn't look anywhere near as competitive. So it was like, oh shoot, <laughs> like yeah, we might That's be right. really far behind if 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 we look like this and I just saw Fnatic look a lot better. So that was like a little concerning. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna yeah. go on a slight rant. Uh, it's like. I don't want to say that I saw it coming, but like, um, cause I, I really did ex- like, I was really hoping that team liquid Honda was like going to be like have, kind of not meta breaking, but like have this like new thing. Cause that's what they did with in the play- LCS playoffs. And they came yeah, up yeah, for sure. and had like a, yeah, had like a, a big like r- run at the bottom, the lower bracket. And it was pretty crazy. Cause like most people would have expected either FlyQuest or, uh, I think it was C9, right? That was going to be yep. yeah, the third. So uh, C9 obviously imploded, so that didn't end up happening. But um, I feel like I feel like if Fly had one, they may have played better. Uh, and maybe it's Cope, I don't know. But um, it's just people didn't expect TL to be first place anyway. And I was like, man, either they're going to be really good or they're going to be really bad. And unfortunately, it looks like it was going to yeah. be the really bad unfortunately but i don't know like the the thing with tl is they always i feel like they were winning because they just had better like team play but their players weren't the strongest they were just like better as a team yeah and like c9 and fly just had better players but tl played better as a team yeah so i like we got to see when like the teamwork kind of broke down and just top had better players all around and it just was like there was nothing left for for tl to kind of stand on and um yeah i think the reason i'm like i was disappointed is because basically i assume we would lose and i'm assuming gen g will win and i was like okay so i was getting hyped for the lower bracket like fanatic versus tl and i was right. like okay but now i'm like less hyped because i'm worried <laughs> the fanatic is just gonna like obliterate us but maybe maybe not maybe we'll like wake up and and play better but yeah. I'm like a lot less hype for that potential matchup now than yeah. when I was originally. Good, good, yeah. good. That's fair. Yeah. Um, but we might, we might, I don't know. Maybe, maybe we'll figure some out and like, you know, come up with a different look. For yeah. That. I'm definitely still copium. Uh, I think we can, we can defeat Fnatic, but at the same time, I think they're looking better than they were. So it's going to be, going to be tough for sure. Uh, we can get some prediction here in just a minute, but uh, mm-hmm. I just want to wrap up by saying I think Jackie Love, like you were saying, uh, even 369, but Jackie Love especially, I think played super yeah. crazy. That one Callista game, yes. he was like crazy this match. Yeah, yeah, um, he's playing so good right now. Yeah, so uh, looking really good, and Mako's obviously a really good support, and yep. that's just an interesting pairing, so got that going. And then I will say, um, I can't remember if it was the third game or something, but Team Liquid put up like a big fight, especially in like the early to mid game. I think um, there was like a yep. bunch of kills in the near the bottom lane, sort of kind of dragon area, yes. yep. and it was looking pretty nice. Um, and then it didn't right after that. But <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so I mean, there's there's definitely still some hope, and I, I think they can they can at least, they should be able at least to take one or two games, maybe the series against uh what we're assuming is going to be fanatic hopefully hopefully yeah we'll see but uh yeah actually i think the the fanatic game starting in with like an hour and a half right so yeah 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 Something it starts, like that. Uh, they play they play tonight yeah so yeah um that's gonna be exciting obviously top esports moving on so assuming they're probably gonna defeat Jinji. uh let's go ahead and get some predictions here though so uh what do you think Ooh. about Jinji fanatic what's the score um genji chovy gonna win they got chovy they got Kevin. oh yeah um, they got Keen. They, that team's so good. Um, yeah, yeah. I do think I am. I actually think it's gonna be three zero. Genji. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, okay. And the only reason I said it is because the best, like Fnatic, looks strongest in like mid jungle. Um, 
against top. Like that's yeah, yeah. that's where they were looking the best. Like, uh, and like humanoid and Razork. Shinji's best players. <laughs> and it's like, well, are they is, are they going to look that good against like Chovy and Canyon? And <laughs> I don't have the same level of confidence. So fair. This isn't like this isn't flame against Fnatic. I actually think they looked like pretty good oh, yeah, in, the sure, sure. in the plans, but uh, I think it might be three zero. That's my prediction. Nah, you're too you're too nice to flame. I I, I know you you will. You <laughs> At least, yeah. Well, anyways, uh, <laughs> um, I was close to flaming APA. I'm not gonna lie. I got pretty mad in that <laughs> first series. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Respect. But I, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. All right. So, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna be a little bit more vegan. Uh, to yep, use inspire yep. words, <laughs> I didn't say <laughs> it's probably gonna be like through one. Uh, I yeah. think Fnatic could probably take one game if they can edge it out. But like you were saying, it's most likely a 3 I would say. Um, I doubt it's going to be 3-2, but I think probably 3-1 if yeah, Fnatic yeah. shows up a little bit, probably. But uh, you never know. Fnatic go crazy sometimes, just like they out can. of nowhere. So it's, it's hard they to say. Can, yeah. I doubt they'll take the series, but maybe they'll take two games. We'll see. Uh, straight up to Billy Billy versus, uh, or BLG versus PSG Talon. Uh, which, what's your score for this one? Um, a lot of people are saying BLG is the tournament favorite. That's what I've been seeing. Um, yep, yep, definitely. And they definitely play like crazy aggressive, um, especially through the bot lane. So um, I think it's going to be pretty hard, pretty rough for PSG talent. Uh, not to definitely not to be a downer on this one too, but I think it's going to be three Oh, Billy, Billy. Okay. Unfortunately. Okay. Yep. I'm gonna do the exact same thing again as well and say I'm gonna say <laughs> Billy Billy three ones PSG because I think PSG's powering up a little bit, but like you said, PSG is gonna be like the tournament favorite um, at least going into the tournament. Yeah. And um, I mean, as long as their play doesn't drop, I think definitely gonna be advancing and definitely. We haven't seen them. We haven't seen them since the start of this because they weren't in play, and so maybe they. Yeah, that's what yeah. I'm kind of wondering about. Yep. But um, That's fair. I still think they're probably considered the best team in the world right now. So I think they'll. I think so, yeah. I think they'll at least, probably be fair to win for sure. Um, so yeah, that'll be them moving on. Uh, and then G two versus T one, the <laughs> fabled, the <laughs> classic. Yeah. So this one, this one, I'm not gonna three zero. This one, I think, is gonna be um, the most hype from the first round. All right. Um, I don't. Oh, I don't have it in me to call the upset, even though I really want to. Um, <laughs> but ah, three two. I what think I'm gonna go. Th- I'm gonna go three two. Okay. Um, and my reason there is, I think T1. Obviously, their bot lane is super scary. Uh, their whole team's pretty scary, but they, they when they snowball, a lot of times it's through the bot lane. And uh, G2 is the ones who have been playing lane swaps like the longest they kind of brought it out so mm. i think they have a chance to do like they should be the best lane swap team right now so i think they have a chance to like really mess with t1 um and caps is gonna definitely be able to hold his own so um all right three two i think yeah. this is gonna be a pretty hype series yeah that's fair um i think uh i think it's gonna be hmm I'm going to be super boring. I'm going to say it's going to be 3-1, but I think it's going to be... (laughs) I think it's going to be... I think it could be a 3-0. No? I think it could be be a 3-0. I think G2 is maybe a little better than I think they are, so I'm going to say 3-1. But uh, I don't know if they're going to really take it to five games, just because I don't think they're as good as they used to be. And T1, maybe they aren't either in some ways, but at the same time, they just won Worlds. They're looking pretty yeah. good. They got the power of the play-ins power up. Um, I think they'll be just peachy. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna be super boring. All three predictions <laughs> gonna be three ones, but yeah. with the leaning that it could be three O's in any of them as well. <laughs> 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 uh, but yeah, all right. I think I think round two is gonna be like round two upper and round one lower. I think all of these matches pretty in close. theory. Are gonna be pretty hype, so I'm excited for like the second rounds. Yeah, I agree, definitely. Like both upper and lower is gonna be hype. And it is double elimination, like you said. So we got uh, TL still alive, and everyone's from this yep. first round is still gonna be alive. So the first round doesn't really matter in in some ways, but 
definitely want to win them, obviously. Uh, but either way, um, assuming that Jinji moves on versus Top Esports, what are you thinking about that one? Let's get a, a forward thinking um, prediction. Ooh, this is pretty. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Genji, I think wins that one. Okay. Um, What's this game score? Genji can beat. Um, I think it'll be three one. Three one. Genji. Oh, okay. Okay. If I had to guess. I can respect that. <laughs> Uh, I'll yeah. I'll switch it up. I think it's probably gonna be three one, but I'll switch it up to say three two, with Genji. Okay, okay. Definitely yeah. Genji's gonna be favorite because I think they're just kind of crazy. Uh, here Chobi's been powering up like he said, and the Canyon's just yep yep, yep. Canyon. Uh, <laughs> uh, all right, yeah. And um, should we do the the TL versus Fnatic and the the lower one here? That what we what we assume is Billy Billy versus T one. Uh, that one that one to me is like really hard to predict. I don't. I'm, I think it's going to be like 3-2. I just don't know who edges it out with Billy Billy and T1. Fair. I, I, I guess yeah, I'll, I'll say 3-2 I'll face three two T1, but that's like it could be anyone's game. It's For just sure. a total guess. Yeah, I'm I'm going to be even like less solid. I'm just going to say either 3-2 or 3-1 Billy Billy. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. Uh, and then TL versus uh, Fnatic, what we think in? 3-1 uh, Fnatic. Oof. All right, fair, Oof. Fair. I know. <laughs> uh, I agree. I agree. Um, actually, maybe no, Fnatic I don't. looks really bad. If they look really bad against Gen G, then maybe I'll have some more hopium. I'm gonna go full hopium, and we'll go three. I want to say three one, but let's say three two. Fnatic, uh, T and Liquid beating. Okay, them. okay, love it. <laughs> be a little spicy yeah, uh yeah, yeah. and then that means obviously from what we thought um that would be psg versus g2 down here um yeah what you think and what you think i think i think g2 3-0 i think they win that pretty easy yeah all right nice fair enough yeah. um i'll Maybe say 3-1 but i'm gonna say 3-0 yeah, yeah. yeah i'm gonna say 3-0 i That's think it's fair. pretty easy it probably would be all right cool um obviously we'll try to get some uh reactions and stuff next week ish when uh, all these second round ones are in the bag and yeah, yeah, yeah. reactions, but um, yeah, thanks you guys for watching. It's been fun. Thank you, Drew, and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.